Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Enigmatica 6. Smash like if you want to see this series continue. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Alright, so we have gathered the 64 gravel, 64 sand, and 64 clay blocks. We have uh, wood and blanks, so let's go ahead and make some sticks. And then we can cross these like this, right? There we go. Make some more. All right, the first thing we're going to make is a crafting station, of course. All right. Oh, cool. It takes on the legs. Uh, the Tinker's Station now has a completely different recipe. And the Park Builder. Nice. Go ahead and put these. Mm, should we keep them up here or should we put them down here? I hollowed out a tree, so let's go ahead and put the tables down here for right now, like this. And yeah, they're connected for right now. All right, we can put patterns in, and in 1.16 we get all of the patterns immediately. So they got rid of the stencil table. So let's see, we're going to make a pick. We need a pickaxe head. All right, pattern cost. One thing, I guess we could jump straight into... No, we can't. Because <laughs> I broke my pick right before hitting record. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Ooh, binding looks weird. Pick head. And the tool handle. And... There's our wooden pick. It is sunset, so let's sleep real quick. I already had a creeper explode on me. Twitch chat is extremely kind to my mistakes. It's already mentioned uh, that I should chunk load, so chunk loading is an effect. Uh, the rich soil over here is growing wheat. I made a hopper botany pot to grow us some more wheat so that we can uh, take care of our foodstuffs with bread. Alright, so I believe it was material cost two, so let's just grab a couple. There. I think we should make the binding out of uh, stone as well. Alright. So now we can replace the head and the binding. Nope, not here. Let's see, how does this work? Can't do both at the same time. All right. So now we have a stone pickaxe. And what I did notice is I turned down the uh, graphic or the sound for the spiders just now realized that this is a spider spawner over here. The part of me wants to just grab the loot that's inside, uh, but I also don't want these guys to be making so much noise during the recording. Come on. Loop. Alright, so let's see. Wow, we have split arrows, saddle, rotten flesh, a whole bunch of bones. That's awesome. Cool. Common lost knowledge. Gray rune, light blue rune. These are for enchanting. Mana in a bottle, a potion of mana regeneration. Nice. This guy... Let's see, we got dime a dozen. A warp scroll, use while sneaking to set a location. Cool. We can warp home once. Beetroot seeds, blue runes, bones, flex of botania, rusty iron nugget. Okay, I'll come back for the rest of this stuff. 
Plus, I need to drop a torch down in here because it's dark now. Oh, and I put all of the uh, the bushes along the side. This also covers uh, all of the food that we need. Let's grab one torch before I forget. Let's see, we should be good down here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some grout. Recipe should still be the same, right? Nice. So we need the, the crafting table since I turned them into blocks. Alright, this should give us more than enough grout. And we can toss them in here. Three, three. If you have more sand, and I have more gravel. Three. All right, now let these guys cook. All right, so we went ahead and we dug down to bedrock, put in some stairs, and uh, all of the grout has been smelted. Got some glass as well. I went ahead and I made a mattock and replaced my axe and my shovel and my hoe. Go. First thing we need to make is, let's see, the heater, right? There it is. Seared heater. It's just in a circle. Like that. One seared heater. And we need to make the melter, which requires a fuel gauge. Fuel gauge or ingot gauge. Either one. Alright, so the melter. We have coal. We need to make one of these seared faucets. Oh, cool. They come in twos now. All right. So let's put down the heater just temporarily right here. Melter on top. Oop. And a faucet. And we're also going to need to make a basin so that it can pour in here. Sweet! So let's grab... Did I move all of my coal? Into one of these guys, right? Let's just take a little bit of coal. We need to smelt down some copper, which I found. Three. Ooh, will that make enough? How much is it? Four. Okay, so we need to find copper. Let's go ahead and put these guys in here. Three in there. Not enough heat. Put one. Let's see, is one enough to smelt these guys? Four ingots. Nice. We got lucky. One of them doubled. Alright, so we will break the seared heater now. Bloop. Put the seared heater in here and cast those four on top. Nice. We have the smeltery controller. Let's get rid of this stuff. Alright, so let's see. How big are we going to make this guy? Should I go with a regular... Regular one for now, so your bricks. 
We'll do a three by three right here. All right. And then do I want to make this look different? I know there's a way to change the way they look, right? We can make seared ladders. Stone cutter. Fancy seared bricks. Triangle seared bricks. I'll make it look fancy later. On the outside. Three. Three. And then one. go corners off we'll put the smelter controller in the front we can put the drains hmm do I want them here or do I want them here two drains hmm let's see we're going to need two drains, one tank. Oh, and the drains are going to need copper as well. That's that's a big bummer right there. Let's go. Smeltery. And we need one of these guys, which we can take with us. We have one. Casting basin already. I'm not going to need the seared melter anymore. We're going to need the faucets. All right, so we need to find uh, at least four more pieces of copper. And then we need one more. These guys. Maybe I should put the tank on one of the sides so that I don't have to run to the back. All right, so nope, I'm not there. There. Put the tank here and then the copper we need here and here. We need one more casting table as well. Put the casting table over here. Awesome. So we need, definitely need copper. All right, so found some copper, smelted some copper. We have our tank. Let's go ahead and make the two seared drains that we need. We'll put the seared drains on the front from inside the basin. You can shift into the basin. <laughs> Did not know that. All right, we'll do this guy here. They look the same on all sides. Okay, that, that drives me crazy. Which way? I face this way? Of course I place it inside. This way? Come on. Yep, it faces the inside then. Hey buddy, why are you here? Whoa. Oh, were those my guys from the trinket? We have the letter R, dark egg, summoning some friends to fight for you when you're under attack. Remove, click to add. Witches love you. Cobwebs can be destroyed just by walking on them. Yeah, the dark egg looks good. All right, I'm going to turn this guy around too, because that just drives me crazy. So we'll click from here inside yeah all right and down here is the mine shaft cut stairs took me forever to go through that marble with a stone pickaxe all the way at the bottom we have a singular piece of uranium that is in our way i had to go around it for right now all the way down the left i hit diamonds really close 
the reason why I was going through this low, I needed a mine shaft, of course, and of course we needed to find lava. Let me go ahead and make an infinite water source over here real quick. I can dump my buckets. All right. And let's go. I'm going to put it behind me so that I don't mine it up into the lava, too. Looks full. Okay. Three and four. And let's grab two extra buckets. Nice. So we can head back up. And that should complete the smeltery for us. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make a sharpening kit and see if I can upgrade the picks mining level like we always do in Tinker's Construct. Because uh, then things are going to go pretty quick. If we can upgrade the stone pick uh, with, a sh with an iron sharpening kit, then uh, we'll be able to mine those diamonds zombie. There we go. Nice. So now we definitely have ore doubling down. Let's see, we got 19 iron chunks. There we go. And we don't have any anything to speed this up at the moment. It does look cool. I like the the added uh, color difference, you know, from the old school was all just one solid color. Drain. Molten iron. All right, so let's see. We should be able to use sand in 1.16. And we need to make one cast. Let's see, this guy. Let's see if this works. Like that. Oop. This would help. Nice. sharpening kits. Let's grab a piece of flint. Sharpening kits and flint. Doesn't look like it. I wonder if they got rid of sharpening kits. Let me try one more thing. We do have the anvil. Tinker's anvil, right? Yeah. So three blocks of any metal, hopefully, and four of the uh, seared stone. All right, we have seven ingots inside. So let's go ahead and make a cast. And we will make a pick head. We'll just replace the pickaxe head with iron instead of making a sharpening kit. And then the iron repair kit, we can uh, we can use it, of course, to repair our, our new iron pick. There we go. And let's upgrade you. Now we have an iron pick. Does it show? It's still show. Mining level iron. Abilities one. 
Oh yeah, abilities. Let's check out. Definitely want Lapis. So I want to see, will it still... Do I need the anvil for the uh, abilities as well? I'm going to have to look into that because I might have to go immersive engineering to get steel so that we can continue with Tinker's Construct to make... Uh, Tools past iron, because I want to put fortune on the pick. Let's see. Let's see if we can grab one piece of diamond. There we go. We can get rid of this guy. Let's grab one diamond. Oop, diamonds. Let's see, can I attach a modifier? Like this, yes. We do have one of the upgrades. We can do diamond to upgrade uh, the mining level and the durability. Awesome. And then let me check one thing. Let's see. Bronze is in the pack. All right, it needs 700 C. Okay, lava is 1000, so we should be able to alloy this. So let's do tin and copper. But we're going to need a lot more... A lot more copper. And tin. in there and let's see if it'll alloy first molten bronze cool so let's go ahead and grab a bunch of copper that's on the surface and see if we can make some bronze uh, blocks for the Tinker's Anvil. All right, so we have this guy casting out. I put a lever on the side to give it the redstone signal required to keep on going, hopper in the bottom into a chest. So let's grab three bronze, since this is a uh, an alloy. And let's see if we can make, oops, I forgot I moved it already. See if we can make it now. There we go, Tinker's Anvil, nice. I'm going to put it right here. Does it still count as it? it still counts as the multi-block by putting it on top? That's cool. I'm entertained by small things like that. All right, so now. No? Really, dude? Let's see. I bet Fortune is no longer uh, with Lapis, huh? Let me check one other thing as well. Grab. Let's see if we can do sharpening kits. I'm not going to go backwards, but let's see. No. No. Can't do that either. But it did unlock the... What is this? Looks like the excavator, the hammer. That might be the lumber axe. One of these two. Great axe and pick. It might be a paxel of sort. 
And that's a hammer. No. That might be a sledgehammer. We got the cleaver, so we can get beheading. The shovel is gone. Weird, is that the hoe or is that a sickle? Somatic can till the ground. The hammer would be nice. It looks like lapis is not what's required for fortune. Let's see if we hover over you for use. Okay, auto smelt, bucketing, banded, gilded, luck. Oh, wow. Cornflower, lapis lazuli blocks. Wow. Copper. So I need to find cornflower. It is a Minecraft flower. Cornflower is in deserts, I think. Luckiest. Oh, wow. So they made it a lot more difficult to get this. No modifier slots are required to apply. Modifier requires one ability slot. Luck, luckier. Ender pearls. Luckiest. So that's fortune three. And it says modifier, so it's not an ability. Modifiers. Silky is a modifier. I'm breaking. Need shulker shells. Wow, so you gotta go to the end. Over slime. So finding that corn flower is gonna be the next thing to get luck. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.